Welcome. I'm so glad you ladies are joining me as we study 1 Corinthians, living love when we disagree. Now, disagreeing is something we all can relate to, whether it's how to put the toothpaste cap on or who's the best candidate in a political election, whether it's a theological thing or whether we're just responding to an article online. And it sounds easy to say live love when we disagree, but it's not so easy to do. We're all so different. That's a big part of it, right? I mean, we have different love languages. We have even read a book that our birth order can contribute to how we view things. Who are my firstborns here, right? Okay, you're the like leader, take charge people. How about the baby of the family? Anybody here? Yeah, we got those two. Those we call ours the mascot because she keeps <laughs> us all laughing. How about the middle child? Yep, that's me. We're the peacemakers. We're trying to keep everybody happy, right? And when we come from those bents, it can cause us to disagree about different things. If you're the only child, you can pick whichever one you want. <laughs> Even sometimes our personalities and our temperaments. I know I, my husband and I find that often because I am such an introvert. I love people, but I like to be alone. <laughs> and he is the definition of extrovert. He just loves to be with people. This one particular year when he was the family's pastor at a church and he oversaw a few different ministries, somehow it happened that every Christmas party landed on the same week. It was literally four nights in a row of party, party, party. And I remember in the car on the third party coming home going, we have another one tomorrow night. <laughs> and he was like, I know, right? <laughs> and we found that that can sometimes cause conflict for us. And in the same way, it caused conflict for the church at Corinth. It's one of the only churches that was made up of Jews and Gentiles, rich and poor. And think about them as real people trying to come together in these house churches of about 30 to 50 people. You've got a person coming out of Judaism, following all of these religious rules and intense morality, sitting right next to someone who might have been a former prostitute or an idol worshiper. And they may have nothing else in common but Jesus, but we're going to find throughout our study that Jesus is enough and he is a lot to have in common. And we need to live love even when we disagree about things. We have differences too. We came from different homes. We have different love languages. We have different birth orders. And my prayer for us as we study this book is that the context, reading these verses, many of us know a lot of verses from 1 Corinthians. There's a lot of famous verses here, but we're going to find the context they were written in. We were going to find some of them are wrapped in the culture of the original audience, and we need to unwrap that culture and go, how does this apply to me? And so that's what I would ask of you throughout our study as we continue to look through Paul's letter, that we would say, how can I live love? How can I apply what Paul is teaching to the church at Corinth? 